Next, let's discuss working environment operating temperatures. The temperature at which the component is expected to operate is often a limiting factor in material or process selection. A systematic assessment of environmental temperature may indicate that a die casting can function satisfactorily even though the temperature appears to be prohibitive. Three temperature criteria should be considered. Cyclic versus steady state, continuous or transient, and internal and external. The maximum temperature in a cyclic environment does not necessarily indicate the temperature that the component will reach. For example, aluminum and magnesium pistons function in gasoline engines at cyclic temperatures with maximums in excess of 3000 degrees Fahrenheit, while gas turbine wheels require special high temperature alloys to operate at 2200 degrees Fahrenheit. The 3000 degree piston exposures are a brief portion of each cycle, while the turbine wheels are exposed to a steady state flow of hot gases and reach a steady state temperature of 2200 degrees Fahrenheit. Transient temperatures or spikes are also relatively brief and occur periodically or seldom. They typically occur when a heat generating device such as a furnace or internal combustion engine and its cooling equipment is shut down and the environmental temperature rises briefly while the heat is dissipated by free convection. When the maximum or spike temperature is used as the design criterion, the component may be overdesigned or a viable material or process option excluded. Either may contribute to excessive cost. Steady state external temperatures may only partially indicate the true operating temperature of a component. For example, automotive fuel pumps are located under the hoods of vehicles where the operating temperature frequently reaches 220 degrees Fahrenheit. The pump is also exposed to flowing fuel on the inside which is at a much lower temperature. The actual operating temperature of the pump is between the two and is substantially lower than the underhood air temperature. The diesel engine fuel fitting shown in the animation illustrates an application where a die casting did not reach the temperature of the external environment. In some cases, a prototyping program is useful or necessary to optimize the design or verify alloy selection. 